everyone, really good to see you. Thanks for joining the video today. I am out in my garden again and today I thought I'd share something with you that I've been doing at home because even though we're all at home at the moment and we're not at Liberty Woodland School, I know so many of you are really lucky to have some outside space at home. Either you've got a balcony um, or you've got a garden um, or you've got some woods nearby that you're able to visit. So we're really lucky that it's this gorgeous weather at the moment and with this beautiful springtime that also means there have been loads of flowers um, blossoming haven't they, and blooming um, and I know Jack and Ella have shared some pictures from what it looks like at Wib Liberty Wooden School at the moment and it's amazing to see all the flowers that are blooming there. So I've been out in my garden and I was thinking what could I do with the flowers that are growing and what could I create with them and I decided to have a go at doing something which we've actually had a go at doing at school before not with flowers but with other natural materials and that is creating um, coloured dyes so today we're going to have a go at creating coloured dyes from the flowers that you can find in your garden or near your home okay so I've been out in my garden and I've picked some flowers that I thought would work really well and I wonder if you know the names of any of these. These um, are the same type of flower. Do you know what these are called? Yeah, these are tulips. So I've got some tulips because tulips have a really strong dye colour. That's another one there too. Um, for the yellows, I collected up the last of these, these are all beginning to end. You might have a few left. I know you know what these are. These are daffodils, aren't they? And I've also collected up some dandelions. That one's closing up because it's the end of the day now. Um, it's closing up at the end of the day's sun. So that's a dandelion um, to experiment with that and see what um, dye I can create with that. Um, blues are a bit harder to find, but I found some forget-me-nots, those little blue ones, forget-me-nots. And then for grass, oh, sorry, for green, I have collected grass and I've also collected some mint leaves to see if I can make a green colour as well. So if you haven't already, what you could go and do now is you could go and have a little walk around your garden, maybe with your mum or dad, just to check what you're allowed to pick and see if you can find a whole range of different colours and tones out there in the petals. Um, recently you've been doing some work with Leah exploring those ranges of different tones you can get within one colour. So have a look around and see what different colours you can find and snip off just one or two flowers um, with each of those different colours. Collect them up and then we'll have a look at what we do next. Right, so this is the really fun part and I know lots of you will enjoy doing this. I wonder if you found um, a pestle and mortar at home. These are really, really heavy bowls and these kind of this this is the bashing part that you use to smash down to when you're crushing um, different spices or different herbs you use it in the kitchen we're not using ours in the kitchen today we're using ours in the garden so once you've collected your flowers have a go at peeling off the petals um, that you can find of the, the same color pop them in and then you need to add just a little bit of water so put a little bit of water in and then you're going to really bash really hard into your pestle and mortar and see if we can release all those amazing natural colours that are in the petals. So in here I'm trying to make a lovely yellow mix. I've actually added some tulips and some dandelions and some daffodils as well. So I'm going to give it a good old bash, keep um, adding a little bit of water so it doesn't get too dry and see what colours you can start to release. I'm going to pause my video because I'm going to make a loud bashing noise now and then show you what I come up with. Right, so I've been really pummeling there for at least two or three minutes. I think the more you do it, the better your results will be. I'm just going to show you what it looks like inside. Can you see in there? So I've kind of got all my petals all crushed up and they're beginning to release all the dye that's in them to make uh, that beautiful yellow colour. So I'm just going to bash it a little bit more and then I'm going to tip it out I'm going to tip it in to a little pot ready to have a go at painting with. I'm going to take that out there and then I'm going to, oh it's really heavy this, I'm going to scrape out all 
that dye, all those yellow petals. I'm going to pour it out into a little jar, a little glass jar here, that's going to hold my yellow dye, my yellow paint. So I'm going to scrape it all out. There we go. And then we can have a little practice and test and see what that looks like. So I'm going to get a piece of paper just to show you. You might, you might need to test out whether you want to add a bit more water. I'm just using mine a bit like this to begin with. Let's have a look. So if I put it along my paper. It's quite a pale yellow, but you can see there I've got a lovely yellow paint. Can you see that yellow dye? Okay, so that's my yellow. I'm going to have a go um, at two different things today. I'm going to use it to um, paint with on paper, but I'm also going to have a go at dyeing some fabric. So I've collected some different pieces of fabric. I've got some which has got a kind of texture on, and then I've got some which I've just ripped into ribbons because I'm going to make some ribbon. So what I'm going to do to dye my fabric is I'm just going to scrump it up. I'm just going to pop it in my dye and give it a little bit of a bash, a little bit of a fix around. So it coats itself in that lovely yellow colour. I'm just going to do that for a moment and I'll show you what happens. Right. Look, looks a bit yucky when I take it out, but look, it's made that gorgeous golden colour. Isn't that a lovely colour? I'm going to pull off the bits of petal and I'm going to leave that somewhere to dry and then we'll have a look at what it looks like later when it's dry. Put that over there to dry. So that's one piece of ribbon. And then I'm going to show, I want to show you another one now. And so I've just started having a go at using my yellow for paint. So you can see I'm just... I'm going to lift it up to show you. I'm just dipping in my paintbrush to get some of that dye on, making a pattern, painting on my piece of card. You can see the other colours that I've made already on there. So the top one, that was black, kind of a dark reddy black. That's made with a wallflower, which is a really deep purpley red colour. This blue was made with a tulip purple tulip and with some um, forget-me-nots, which are tiny blue flowers. And this yellow is a mixture of daffodils and dandelions and a yellow tulip as well. I'm going to have a go at making um, green now. I haven't tried this one out yet, so I'm not sure if it's going to work. I've got some grass here and also some mint leaves. Um, probably the fresher the grass is, the better. So I'm just going to do the same thing tip in a little bit of water and then I'm going to have a go at pummeling it. So I'm going to pause you there while I do a bit of bashing. Right, I've just added my piece of cotton, my ribbon in there. So I'm just going to show you, just been mixing it around in with the grass. And it's definitely got a green colour. Yeah, that's definitely worked. I think, yeah, actually, if you think about how grass stains, if ever you sit on grass, and you're wearing really light colour trousers or a light colour skirt, um, it might stain. You've got to be careful if you're rolling around and playing in it. So look, that's made a lovely green colour. This was my yellow one we made, and this one was a green one. So they're quite similar, but they're different tones of yellow and green, which I'm going to put to dry. And I'll just show you the um, one that I did with the purple tulips. So when they're dry, can use them, turn them into something. Maybe I'll make a wand or something and have some ribbons on the end. Um, let's test out the green colour. Let's test out the green on the piece of paper, see how that goes. I'm just going to do some dots with my green. Let's see, it's probably very similar to the yellow. Let's see if we can make some patterns. That, yeah, it's working. It's similar, but it's definitely green. Can you see those green spots I've just done? So you have a go at trying this at home, see what you can get up to. You might want to make something some, uh, something for someone with your ribbons. Um, I've had a go at doing some cards. Um, I was doing this earlier with my daughter. She's done some lovely cards with these different colours. She's going to send one to her nana and granddad. And she's going to send one to um, one of our neighbours who's 86 years old and he can't leave the house at the moment. So she's going to send him one of these because he loves his garden. So if you make one at home, you could send one to one of your friends at school or to someone in your family um, to tell them you're missing them at the moment. 
Um, have great fun and show me how you get on because um, I'd love to see what you get up to. Bye everyone, have fun.